Hello YouTube, it's Drew Wee and I would like to show you something very, very cool. A double piston extender, triple piston extender, and quad piston extender. Okay, so the first one is double piston extender, very simple, not by design, very well known design. It's 3x3x2, three by three by so 18 blocks, like so. Very, very simple, very, very nice. Not really the best thing in the world. Oh yeah. Next thing is a triple piston extender. Now this is not my design exactly. I saw it on YouTube, but I compacted it a bit, made some uh, changes to it. So it's nine by four by two, which is 70, 72 blocks. So let's see, it going, going, and going back, like that. So very, very nice. It is kind of complicated, so it goes like uh, pretty much be uh, timings that I had to work on. But the idea behind it is that if I just shoot it like this with the timings, it wouldn't work because I need to add another shoot. What I mean, I mean it that after it's done this, I will shoot it again, like I'll do this again, and then it will work. So how do I do that? I do a falling edge detector, which basically makes the lever shoot again a one tick signal. And because it's a one tick signal, it wouldn't fire after th at that again, because a one tick signal wouldn't deactivate this torch here. So it will just fire one more time, and it will get the timings just right. Like that. So, very very nice. The tutorial will be coming soon, but not in this video, because I'm just really excited, and I'm just because of this. This is the quad piston extender. That's all. Four piston extenders, four pistons, sorry, works fine, very fast, very very fast actually. And it's just 10 by 4 by 3, which is 120 blocks, which is for my opinion amazing. Look how small it is. It just like a bit of here repeaters here and here and here, and that's it. This again works in the same idea, same same idea as a triple piston extender as it fires once and then it fires again here in the falling edge detector so let's see it running you can see because it's so fast it actually changes the block id here the damage value i don't know why it's happened but i don't know if i'll catch it again on a video but uh, i can try you can see it's very very fast very very compact it just i think it's amazing i really here i got it again it's just, I still can't believe I did it, so I just hurried up and made a video about it. I, If you want, I do a tutorial, and I think it's necessary, because people don't really need this. But, it's just kind of cool. It really helps you to, to train in redstone. Like, if you want a challenge or something, or if you just want to improve your, re your redstone skills, piston extenders is a very good thing to do. So yeah, making this work piston extender is very much a progress for me. And I just made another step in becoming a better redstone man. Or I don't know. It's just... I don't know how to describe it. It's like... Look at it. It's so compact. I, I really don't know what to say about it. So if you do want to see the tutorial, just write in a comment. And actually, that's about it. So, two, three design. That's all. So, if you liked it, then of course, like. Press the like button and subscribe or leave a comment. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.